John Best, General Manager, the voice of MSCS 88.5 and C19 TV. And I'm here today to read how to train your amygdala. All right, so readers, let's get ready, set, and read. How to Train Your Amygdala by Ann Housley Jester, illustrated by Cynthia Cliff. Hi there, it's great to see you. I'm your amygdala. Yeah, I know, it's a funny word. Let's say it together. Amygdala. Yep, that's my cool name. It's unique and I like it. You have probably never seen me before, but I am right here in your brain. There is an amygdala in everyone's brain. It's true. All humans have one. Many other animals do too. In your brain like this. But in this book, I look like this. Not bad, not bad at all. I am pretty cute. I am also super important. I am a big part of an alarm system in your brain and body. When I sense danger, I act right away to help you stay safe. I let you know something is wrong, and I work with other parts of your brain and body to send fast messages about what you can do to protect yourself. I might tell you to freeze, or run away, or act strong and angry like you are ready to fight. Imagine this, you are about to cross the street and suddenly a car is speeding towards you. As soon as you see the car or hear the engine, I start the alarm telling your body to freeze. You don't hear an actual alarm though, but you stop moving. You might get shaky, your heartbeat might get fast, Really, 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 really fast. What does it feel like in your body when I start the alarm? Maybe you get hot and sweaty and feel angry. Or maybe you suddenly get cold and worried. You might feel like you have butterflies in your stomach. That is all because I am doing my important job. I am your powerful amygdala and I work to keep you safe and I'm ready for anything. Wait! Shh! Be very quiet. Do you hear that? Please do not move. Freeze! I think there is danger on the other side of that door. It's getting closer. We need to run! Hide! Do you see something? You do? Should we be ready to protect ourselves? Wait, what? A kitten and the kitten has a large cheese pizza? That's not dangerous. I love pizza. Okay, I have to tell you something else about me. Look, sometimes I can be a little sensitive. I might get confused and start the alarm system when there isn't any danger. My worry about a scary thing that might happen can make us get ready to protect ourselves even when there is nothing to worry about. So I have something important to ask you. Can we work together as a team? Will you help me? You will? Great, listen closely. You know how people train puppies not to bark, hide, or run at every noise? Well, you can also train your amygdala. I don't always have to set off the alarm. Maybe you are just trying to raise your hand at school or make a new friend, and you don't want to feel so worried. Maybe you don't want to get angry suddenly and yell, hit or kick. Sometimes I just need to chill. Training me can help us be calm together. One way to train me is to take long, deep breaths. Try it. Put your hand on your belly 
Breathe in slowly and watch your hand rise. Fill your lungs all the way up. Now slowly let your breath out. How does that feel? Try again. And this time, imagine an, an elevator going slowly up and then slowly back down as you breathe. Or you might think about calm waves on a beach, water coming in, going out, in and out, in and out. Another way to train me is to think about your favorite place or person. Maybe there's a place in your world where you feel safe or a person you trust who helps you stay calm. Picture that place or picture that person. You can also train me by squeezing a stuffed animal or a pillow as hard as you can, pushing it into your belly. Give it a gigantic hug with all your strength. Pretend you are giving me a really tight hug to let me know it is okay. Squeeze, hold, and then let all your muscles relax and let everything go. Once you are feeling a bit calmer, try to name your feeling. You can say, right now I am worried, or I am very scared and angry. Sometimes telling someone how you feel can just help us relax. What else you can do to help us stay calm together? Try something that usually works for you when you want to be calm. It takes practice to train your amygdala. Please keep helping me. I will still be ready to start the alarm when there is real danger. Examples, deep breaths, imagine calm, name your feelings, thinking of a favorite place, talk to someone, favorite people, relax, favorite activities. Sounds like a plan. I think we oh, make a really good team. The end. Thank you for joining us with Ready, Set, Read, Enjoy your books this summer and keep following Memphis Shelby County Schools.